As you might have already seen, Neo was down 7% at the start of the long weekend, 13% for the week, but overall we are up 22% over the last month. So what does that mean for Neo? And most importantly, what does that mean for your money? If you guys are new around here, my name is Joseph, and I primarily cover disruptive innovation and stocks that are poised to take off. Whether that be SPACs or penny stocks, opportunity is everywhere in a bull or bear market, and I want you to be the first ones notified. If you're ready to make some money, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also, make sure to grab your four free stocks from Webull if you haven't already, just to get a little more money in your portfolio. With that out of the way, let's get to it. There is one thing that Neil is really good at, and that is keeping investors guessing on a daily basis. At the beginning of 2021, in preparation for Neo Day, the stock shot up nearly 30% over the course of 10 days. Following Neo Day, many analysts began to bump up their price targets even more. Many bumping their price target on Neo to $75. The following week, Neo raised $1.3 billion senior convertible notes, which caused a downward trend. Neo's stock dropped from as high as $64 to its weekly low of $56, thus reversing the upward trend to $75 and putting it even further away from the $100 price target. Although many investors have begun to either abandon Neo or some are simply taking profits after a huge run-up, this might be a good buying opportunity for those who have yet to establish a position in Neo or are looking to add even more shares in their position because we do not normally see Neo pull back this much. Why did Neo pull back so much? A big reason was that one of Neo's co-founders, Jack Chung, took a new job elsewhere. Not only did this former co-founder join a different company, but he was named CEO at this new company, Foxconn, which is Apple's manufacturing partner, who is also in the electric vehicle industry. However, this information might have been misinterpreted because Jack Chung actually left Neo in 2019. People might be thinking he left now for Foxconn in order to compete against Neo, but that's not true. Also, another reason for the pullback could be the pandemic, as news broke out that parts of China are going back into lockdown because cases have been getting worse. And with the recent escalation of tension with China as the US bans certain Chinese companies from the stock exchange, people fear that even companies such as Alibaba, Neo, and Xpun will be delisted too. But in my honest opinion, I believe that there is a very slim chance for that to happen because both nations heavily depend on each other to boost their economies. By completely banning one from the other would dramatically slow their own growth. I see this as merely flexing in politics. So that begs the question, can Neo still hit $100? And if so, buy when? Well, let's take a look. Fourth quarter earnings are coming mid-February. This can cause a big bump in price because of revenues and deliveries. There were 17,000 deliveries in quarter four, and this number is only increasing. Also, there were over 7,000 deliveries in a single month of December, which is over a 100% increase year over year. This is highly expected to only increase month after month. January might be slow, but that's normal. Quarter one starts off slow, but gradually ramps up as the year goes on. Quarter four is always best for most vehicle companies. Neo is just getting started and will leverage their partnership with JAC Motors, the current producer of vehicles. 
Neo outsources vehicle production, but they are looking to get their own facility and manufacturing. Once that's the case, they will leverage their partnership with JAC and aim to put out 100,000 vehicles by the end of the year. If they hit that 100,000 mark, that is an average of 8,300 vehicles per month through 2021. I do believe the EV mania will continue to grow over the next few months into the latter half of the year. With the recent Democratic sweep and President-elect Joe Biden to take office, it is highly anticipated that China-American trade war and trade tensions will simmer down. NIO is also gearing up to begin deliveries of the ET7 in one year's time, continuing to increase their deliveries every single month, rolling out their battery swap station 2.0, and having signed a deal with local authorities to greatly increase their swap station infrastructure. In my mind, there are very few reasons to be bearish on this company. However, that being said, I do think simply due to the increasing quantity of swing traders, short-term investors profit-taking, and the volatility of NEO's current share price, we may indeed see shares fall in the short term. Unfortunately, stocks don't only go up, but that's perfectly fine. It only leaves more opportunities to buy at a lower price. We've seen what NEO can do at the $60 range. It's only a matter of time before the stock takes off again. Be on the lookout for more volume of bullish option plays after this stock consolidates. I'm fortunate to have built a position into NEO at a relatively low average cost, but I am looking to buy more shares at 55, and ideally under 50 if the sector panic sells. I know that sounds terrible, but I would love to continue to add to my position of NEO, even if that means that there is an extreme pullback. I just believe in this company so much, and their fundamentals are sound. So in conclusion, I am absolutely confident that NEO will blow past its $100 price target, but not without its volatile ups and downs. If you're a long-term investor, stay locked in. Don't sell a share and ride this roller coaster to the moon. What do you guys think? Is NEO going to continue to trend down? Or was the setback necessary in order to launch itself back towards a $75 price target analysts had just earlier this week? I would love to hear your opinion. Go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me what you think the state of NEO is. And before you go, if you made it this far, I know you've already hit that like button and subscribe with the notification bell. Also, don't forget about Weeble's free stocks worth up to $3,700. This is literally free money that can go to building out your portfolio. All you have to do is sign up, open an account, and deposit at least $100 using the link in my description. Weeble is a 0% commission trading platform and offers some of the best analytics to help you make money with your trades. Leave me a comment down below telling me you use my link so I can give it a heart. Anyways, I'll have more content coming soon. Take care. Ryan Little. <laughs>